Cal OES logo. Quick look, oesnews.com. I'm Brian May in the California State Emergency Operations Center at Cal OES headquarters. This is just one of the locations where crews continue to work in response to the 6.4 earthquake that occurred near the town of Ridgecrest on July 4th. The State Operations Center continues to be activated at a level two. Our Inland Region Emergency Operations Center is activated as well. We've got a number of state agencies co-located with us, continuing to actively monitor the situation in Kern County and specifically the town of Ridgecrest. Cockpit of a helicopter flying over the area, then an aerial view of Ridgecrest. Although uh, we have not had uh, any reports of damage or injuries as a result of the aftershock this morning, we know that there's a significant uh, possibility of additional aftershocks with consequences, and we want to be prepared for that. So aftershocks continue in the area. Uh, it's something that we expected. Every time uh, there is a large earthquake, we always expect to have uh, aftershocks in the area. Um, and we had one early this morning, in fact, magnitude 5.4. Breaking news, Ridgecrest Library closes due to quake. Staff needs to clear out fallen books, materials. 23 ABC shows bookshelves with books scattered on the floor. We don't know exactly when those aftershocks will be. We don't know how big they'll be, but we do know that they're coming. So it's something that we want to make sure we're reminding the first responders in the area, the residents that live in the area, that we live in earthquake country. We need to be prepared. Um, if you do feel an earthquake, drop cover and hold on. The State Operations Center will continue to monitor earthquake activity and assess any needs from the impacted communities throughout the weekend and as long as needed. Yeah, Cal OES is a 24-7 agency. Disasters don't understand dates. They don't understand, uh, you know, folks trying to be with family and friends. Uh, we've got a tremendous uh, workforce here at Cal OES, and everybody really stepped up, shifted course, uh, said goodbye to their families, came in here to support those communities that were impacted by this event. For more information on how to stay safe during and after an earthquake, you can visit the earthquake page on our website. It's caloes.ca.gov. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching.